Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome to my YouTube channel. There are many like it, but this one's mine. I would do a little something a little bit different today. I just, it wasn't a very productive day at all. Spent the um, better part of the day just kind of chilling out down a YouTube wormhole. And um, up until today, I probably would have said, um, I'm going to talk about Canada today and most uh, specifically kind of Canadian uh, influences on the world. And um, I had to do a little research just to make sure that I wasn't, you know, overlooking anything or missing anything. And there were a couple things that I overlooked, and this isn't, I'm not doing this to poke fun at Canada or, you know, sometimes Americans do that for whatever reason. I've got some guys that I play warships with that I absolutely love that are Canadian, that are, you know, great dudes, funny, blast playing with them. Um, had no clue that the person who founded or had the patent for peanut butter was from Canada. So that's pretty big. Um, a guy who invented Easy Off Oven Cleaner was from Canada. The guys that invented Trivial Pursuit were from Canada. Um, obviously, Canada Dry Ginger Ale has it in the name. So up until today, I probably would have said that my favorite Canadian, for me personally, is the band Rush. Um, I got the first cassette tape I bought back in the day. Actually, I bought two on the same day. Um, was Rush, Moving Pictures, and REO Speedwagon's uh, High Infidelity. Both great albums, but that Rush album and, you know, subsequent Rush albums for me were, you know, amazing as far as my early introduction to music. Um, my uncle had the classic Rush poster on the wall, the 2112 with the naked dude and the star and Getty Lee with the long hair and um, just just loved them. I loved Moving Pictures, great record. I uh, loved Signals and, you know, a lot of the other tracks. Um, but today I found myself going down a, a different wormhole. I'm not really a comedy guy and I was kind of turned off to comedy. You know, I think I saw some bad comedians back in the day. I ended up on a date one time with a girl and we went and saw Carrot Top and... Pauly Shore, and I remember just sitting there like, what the f is this, you know? Carrot Top was just playing around with toys and stuff and just being annoying, and Pauly Shore was just going, I'm the weasel, and all this crap, and was like, I was the only one in the place that was just like, this is just not doing it for me. Um, but today, and actually for the past couple of weeks, I've been kind of going back and watching some of the classic um, Saturday Night Live stuff, and I rediscovered um, the guy that I think was the far and above the best host that uh, Weekend Up Update ever had, when that was, uh, and that was uh, Norm Macdonald, who's from Canada, and the dude leaves me in stitches still. And, you know, sadly, sadly we lost him last year, but um, I cannot sit through any of his videos without just literally, you know, laughing hysterically at uh, his material. The thing that used to crack me up is it's like when I remember watching Weekend Update as a kid and um, a lot of times Norm would have jokes that would just like the audience, the studio audience would just not react to or they'd react negatively to. And those were typically the jokes that I found the most funny. It was like, I don't understand why they're not laughing. That's hilarious. Yeah, it pushes the boundaries, you know, quite a bit. Um, but oh, the dude just used to leave me in stitches. Um, so if you ever find yourself like in a down mood and you really want to laugh, pull up some of the uh, Norm Macdonald stuff from Weekend Update on Saturday Night Live when he did, uh, you know, coverage of the O.J. Simpson trial. Hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. Some of his appearances on Letterman and his appearances on Conan are just side-splitting laughing. And um, you can't you can't be in a bad mood after watching... Norm McDonald will do what he did best. That's all I've got for you guys today. I will see you tomorrow. Uh, like and subscribe if you want. If you don't, don't. See ya.